Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we figured out who the villain is. It's the Queen of Canada. No, it's uh it's Hugh Bliss. Oh, it just says Queen now. So uh Well let's look at these posters here. Uh, I can't run anymore. I guess it was only in the first four episodes. Sunday at the Terror Dome, Big Spanky Devlin makes a death-defying leap over 12 flaming school buses filled with robotic sharks. He beat your record, Max. Yeah, but he uses a motorcycle. <laughs> Lost Cat, Musty. Sybil has the worst luck with pets. She's behind that desk all day. She never gets a chance to walk them. Ah, uh, poor kitty. Hope she finds Toast, it. Toast, the musical. I heard Keanu Reeves was good in that. You know, I really believed he was a toast. <laughs> and believe it or not, Toast is now a video game. Ugh. Impeach President Max. U.S. out of the Dakota. Oh, I saw that. Are we going to Lefties again? Lefties is empty again. Except for the lingering stench, of course. Okay, so... Oh, I can run. It's just very, uh, janky, I guess. Sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. Since Max and I never pay for parking oh. anyway, those things just get in the way. Didn't mean to click on that, but oh, hello. Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own leader. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean, we, White Rabbit? Okay, he's just hanging out on the meter for some reason. I don't know why. President and assistant destroy internet. Assistant? <laughs> Reality 2.0, up and coming new internet sensation. The newspapers are always a little behind in their technology coverage. No kidding. Well, I'll be. The gumball machine actually contains gumballs. Huh. Well, ain't that something? Well, let's uh, go see what Bosco Prison Assistant for Internet. New story links full moon to hi hypnotism. Under study, okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, what? boss. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. Your... your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. Well, that's a surprise. Mind telling us how you came to be a woman? Did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? Are you sassing me? Boy, I will whoop your behind so hard, you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my behind. You will after I get through with you. Oh, man. But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. Jeez, she's a very uh, authoritarian way of doing things. So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, I like them bosomy. Oh, Max, you take after your father. Okay, you just cross the line, pal. Oh my gosh. Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. Theoretically? Oh, you can sell something, hmm. Wait, wait. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One! Do you have any completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm-hmm. You do? Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. <laughs> do you have any video of a chicken eating cow manure for laughs? Mm-hmm. What? No way! Do you have any global meatball sandwich positioning systems? Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have any three foot by two foot cue cards that say don't vote for me? Mm-hmm. What? I can't believe that! If, you, if you're getting this. <laughs> Do you have any instant win cheat codes for reality 2.0? Mm-hmm. Oh, why didn't we <laughs> ask before? Do you have Hugh Bliss tied up back there? Mm -mm. Ah. <laughs> hey, I was on a roll. 
Do you have any completed artificial okay. person? Mm-hmm. You do? Mm-hmm. Wow, that really... Okay, that's, that was great. What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker, and it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Oh, all right. Earthquake Knowing maker. You, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the fool? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? <laughs> oh my Remember, gosh. No earthquakes in the house. One hundred trillion dollars. That's quite a bump up from a billion by several factors. Okay, how are we going to pull that off? I do not know. <laughs> I don't think there's any entity in the entire world, any single entity that owns a hundred trillion dollars. Is there even a hundred trillion dollars worth of, like, money in the world? I don't know. Oh, man. Never mind. You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay! Do you have any copies of the uncensored 1982 Armana Santi lookalike contest on Betamax? Nope. Oh well, that's the only thing I really need, honey. Okay. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pig style. That has been interesting. Zazzle and Fib. It's getting hard to find copyrightable character names these days. Zazzle. <laughs> Pointless puzzles. Probably about adventure games. Judge and jury. It's getting hard to find copyrightable character names these days. All right. Uh, I'm entranced by the gentle oscillation of the hot wingies. Huh. So how are we going to go about things? Nope, his horn's still not turning red. Hmm. Where will we use it on Max? Hey Max, wanna pet the unicorn? No thanks, I took care of that before we left the office. <laughs> oh dear. Bosco? Hey Bosco, wanna rub my unicorn? I'm not that kind of woman. Oh, I should have done that with Sybil. I'm gonna have to do that. Did you say anything? Hey! Ah! Stop <laughs> it! Watch out! Put that away! Ah, alright. <laughs> Still cracks me up. Alright, so uh, what do we do? Um, Jimmy, you wanna. Hey, Jimmy, want to touch my unicorn? Beat it! No, just touch it. <laughs> what is he doing on there? Better not. Uh. Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. Hmm. Is there anything interesting back here now? You say something about the carpet again? That's where Max has been filing all the reports he gets from the EPA. <laughs> uh, too good. EPA, they're actually kind of horrible, so I don't blame him. Liver and onions have been headed towards a nasty breakup for years. Now they're going to be boxing. All right, so, what do you say? Hey, Sybil, want to rub my unicorn? We have people who do that sort of thing for us now. Ugh, okay. <laughs> oh, so much to question. Well, I can't think of anything we can do here. Honestly. 
So how do we, uh... Hmm. I still feel like we should do something with this. Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! No way. What happens if we shoot at it? Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. Well, I guess back to the moon. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. <laughs> nice little uh, reference there. All right, let's check this out again. Oh, we can look at the rocket engine here. It's a lunar lander. The door's locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. So many of us are like that. Hmm. Well, that's quite a rocket engine. How do we get those keys? Guess not that way. Hmm. What do you say about this unicorn, Harry? Hey, Harry. Want to rub my unicorn? No, I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> uh, what do we do here? Really should work on securing this thing better. See, snow, oh, there's snow globes. I'll need to get the case off at first. I'll need to get the case off at first. Hmm. Can you distract him, maybe? Help me out with something. Sure. I'm not sure how to get this unicorn to turn red. If embarrassment doesn't work, I try heat. Ha uh ha! -huh. Help me out with something. Sure! Maybe with the lunar lander, but unfortunately we can't get in there. I can't exactly say why, but I feel a strange urge to take that display case from the visitor center. In that case, you'd better bone up on your smuggling techniques! Help me out with something. Sure! I'm not sure how to use this spoon bending thingy we got. I'd start by taking it out of the display case. Hmm. What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? Take a vacation! Seems like we've been working for the past seven months straight! <laughs> My feet are killing me. That may be, but we can't press charges unless we catch him in the act. I miss the old days, when our cases were less thinking and more shooting stuff. Luckily, my short-term memory makes me impervious to nostalgia. Random but innocuous comment. Irreverent reply that hints at mental instability. <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Help me out with... Let's see, sure. is there anything else they... I yearn to blast off in that lunar lander, but the keys are locked inside. Does AAA service extend to the moon? Somehow I doubt it. Help me out with something. Sure. Let's see. I need a hundred trillion dollars. Pity we already sold your baseball card collection to buy that kidney for your Uncle Rollo. Yeah, I wonder what he wanted it for. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so how are we going to uh, smuggle this thing out of here? I can't I can't mix items. I was going to try to mix, but I can't do that. Hilarious as it would be to mix up the displays, I've got better things to do. Like what? Shut up, bonehead. <laughs> These look oddly familiar. These look oddly familiar. I don't know how. What kind of currency do they use? Uh, Junk it. Now appropriate. It's merchandise. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna search One moment. Again. Uh -huh. I have no idea how that keeps winding up in there. Don't get cute. Too late. How do we get that thing out of here? Anything else to say, Harry? No. See you later. Great! 
get a feeling we need to turn on that thing and get the, uh... Oh, come on. Get the things going. The, uh... Oh, what is it? The uh, burner's going to heat the unicorn up to red. This isn't doing me any good, I don't think. Hey, Superball. Want to look at my unicorn? Have you achieved level red yet? No. Then no. Oh, man. This mechanical it's suit pretty helpless? skanky. I think I'll just leave it alone forever. Hmm. I think that's a satellite. What happens if we try to shoot the satellite? Okay. Better not. Wait, what happens if we try to shoot the Earth? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. Alright. Well... Sadly, folks, once more, I am at a complete loss. I don't know what to do. Okay, I was on the wrong track with my thinking. The latest in making stuff hot technology. Uh, if only I'd looked at that. that. I think that's my biggest problem is that I'm not looking at everything again and again because I just assume that it'll be the same most of the time. I know one way to get horny hot. Because that was a very obvious hint at uh, what we need to do with the unicorn. There we go. Success. His little horn's nice and red. Wow. I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. <laughs> All right. Back to, uh, Super Bowl. There we go. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. Exactly. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Ooh, it looks like there's a lot of Sam, stuff to interact Sam, with here. There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Uh, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss. Uh, I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous! <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo! Outstanding! Yeah. Outstanding! You're awesome! This guy really knows how to work a room! Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. Ha <laughs> ha! An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right. The best kind. Oh my please, gosh. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you. That's exactly where we need to go. But yeah, it looks like we have a lot to do now. All right. Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. Oh, come on. I meant to tell you. I'm guessing our plant is here, too. Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you, too. <laughs> Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean, let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? Uh, no golden showers, please. Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You can teleport Cuban dictators? <laughs> uh, yes. But now I'm working on gastrokinesis, the ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. 
Yeah, can you believe one of our uh, presidential candidates was actually praising Fidel Castro? Can you believe that? Sorry, anyway. Yeah, that, that was the reference. Fidel Castro. Castro can Max and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. Ah, well, <laughs> if you are a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Sam, is that ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863, right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't you make yourself throw oh, okay. I have. I was kind of... Man, we have to read him the Gettysburg Address. You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade-A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? <laughs> I'm flattered. Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast, I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. Uh, she's pretty cute, I guess. Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. There are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. But that's not that's not true, is it? Did Kennedy's wife do that? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm gonna have to look that up. Well, how can you expect to have a complete relationship with someone when you're well missing some key subneck accoutrements? What? How you gonna make time with the ladies, Al? You're just ahead. Obviously, you two never read Cosmo. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How can you expect to have our... Okay. What? How you... Obvious. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Oh, maybe he'll get nervous Hello? enough. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Sybil Pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Wait, don't hang up. I got knees. Oh, yes. I'm issuing you a Romancipation Proclamation. Let's set aside our differences and commence on the reconstruction. Hmm. Call me back in four score and seven years. Hmm. Let's, Let's try one more time. Again. Hello? Hi. Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Okay. You're almost as hot as your sister. You got curves like a racetrack, you got a body that won't quit, you're a stone cold fox. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Um, all right. Damn. Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself, and I happen to love foxes. Ah, uh, that's what I figured. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? So I'm guessing we have to uh, take information that we know about Sybil and use it here. An alien love triangle, tattoo my head all over your body, play some one on one love hockey, lie down and get psychoanalyzed. Um. Geez, all of these are good, but, uh. Well, 
Let's check. We'll find us a Martian babe and show her it takes three to tango. Aliens are so four months ago, Abe. If you knew me, you'd have realized that. Oh, shoot. Sure. Sorry, let me try that again. I know this episode could be long, but I want to do this. Let's strike. Huh, there's nothing about Canada here. Psychoanalyze, tattoo. Oh, hockey, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I kept reading that as hooky. I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. Oh my gosh. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe, I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Was that... Did she actually say yes? Hello! You just totally scored! Thank you! Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? I can't do this! I'm so nervous, I've got butterflies! I have to ask. Where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... And I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just swallowed. <laughs> well, that was very interesting. We uh, got a talisman that makes people throw up. How are we going to use that? Well, you're just going to have to find out next... Oh, I have an idea, but oh my gosh, no. Oh, you just got to find out next time on Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and have a good day.